This is actually our, our fourth uh, setting or fourth time we're getting together with this painting. Uh, last week, we didn't get a lot of real estate covered, but we did work on, on the wine glass, the apple, and the grapes. And now, to finish things off a little bit, I'm going to go to a little bit lighter value. And I'm going to show a little bit of the light hitting some of these grape leaves back here. But I don't want it to be strong. Very low key grape leaves. Now, as I was saying earlier, we do the um, grapes first and then taking a look at the stems. You see that color? You can see a lot of raw sienna in that color, but they're still a little bit green. So I'm going to get some raw sienna, a little touch of green in there. And now I'm going to go to a small brush, a smaller brush. And let's see if I can find one here. We'll just put in I'm going to put We're going to suggest some of these. They can be darker. And then we can show some highlights in a few places. We'll get a little bit more light in a couple of spots by taking some of this, these light colors here. And get some darker colors in a few places with the dark green, maybe a little touch of raw sienna with it. We're showing where maybe some of the grapes have already dropped off. That's a little bit too light. So now I'm going to go with a slightly darker green. But we want to keep it earthy. So we add raw sienna, burnt sienna. Where would we have it a little darker? We can go a little darker still. That seems a little bit too strong right there, so I'm going to darken that up a little bit. You can see the coffee working. My hand is shaking like a leaf. Okay, a couple of lighter lights. A 
Now this is something that we can work on, get started, then come back and clean it up where we got a little bit too fat, where the coffee made my hand shake. It's not because I drank too much coffee, but the coffee is at fault here, not me. <coughs> yeah. Okay, now I'll clean this up a little bit more, and then we pretty much have it. working on this some more but I don't think I'm going to work on it anymore here I'll put a little bit more attention on here we'll put it in a picture frame so that you can see what it looks like when it's framed up I'm going to put a brighter highlight right on the leading edge of that wine glass There's other things that we would be doing in the fine tuning on the grapes and the and the leaves and whatnot, but as far as finishing up the painting, we're as close as we need to get on the video. Uh, it's in it's now in the frame. I still need to put my name on it. There's a few very, very subtle, delicate little things that we do in the grapes on the leaves to finish it off. But for the most part, all the foundational stuff that uh, the viewer would need to be able to uh, do a, a uh, as it were, a copy of this uh, photo, it's all here. And with that, I think we're going to shut this down. I hope that there's been something educational that's been of great benefit to you in the process step by step doing this so if you do a painting like this we'll send the photo if you order the video we'll send a photo of this with the video so that you'll have this in your possession and the step by step in producing this uh, still life as an educational experience it should have far reaching benefits for you and benefits for the long term of your painting. So have a good painting experience. Keep your paint brushes wet. Try to paint 
you know, several times a week if you can. And good luck, and I hope we hear from you.